today's our edible jungle celebration. We've themed it Eat Up Our Jungle. We grew a whole load of African and Caribbean semi-tropical plants in the lower greenhouse. So we grew cocoa yam, cassava, uh, taro, lots of gingers, uh, bananas, a whole range of different things, masses of chilies. And we took the opportunity to have a big community feast. We've got a beautiful sunny day, and I'm just cooking up some plantain right now, uh, which unfortunately we didn't grow, but it's typical to go with one of the Ghanaian stews that I made. I think we must have at least 60, 70 people that we're feeding. All the food's been cooked by volunteers who volunteer at the greenhouses, and we've all brought it in um, and variously prepared it here or at home. And uh, I'm absolutely delighted about how it's going. This is where we grew the jungle. Um, it was an annual display. We started growing it, we started planting it in the middle of last year, but we started planting it in around March this year. Um, it was helped because we put it on a hot bed. Um, we built this bed um, using a base layer of unrotted horse manure, and what with the rotting setting in, um, the horse manure heated up the soil in this bed to 40 degrees centigrade and that's how we grew a jungle. The jungle appreciated the soil temperatures and the soil temperatures warmed the air in the greenhouse um, and between those two factors and a lot of water as you get in the jungle from our misting system along the top here, um, sometimes referred to as the mistifier, um, we were able to grow the jungle from March until the beginning of June when it was already beginning to reach the ceiling. Um, it's been a fantastic display. We estimate that more than 5,000 people have visited the jungle during the exhibition's run, but we had to dig it up so that we could feast today. What we're all about really is about, about community. We're about local people coming and enjoying the resource of the greenhouses. And we're about celebrating growing food and cooking food from scratch and also learning about growing as well. So. Well, one thing about gardeners is they really love sharing knowledge. That's so, good. That's yeah, so good. Yeah. It's definitely what you'll get when you come here. People, once they get start talking, about, <laughs> start talking. It sounds like about, a warning. <laughs> no, no, but everybody wants to share you. how Absolutely. they do things. Yeah. And that's, that's a great way of, you know, everybody just teaching and learning from each other. We learn how to do basic gardening, basically. Um, grow vegetables, flowers. We've got a good dye garden, which is, you know, pretty, pretty good. My name is Andy. I'm one of the lead volunteers. I've been coming to the greenhouses for just over three years. It's a really friendly place to be. There are many jobs. I work in just every part of the garden and even though I've been here and have got some horticultural knowledge I still learn plenty from being here. It's a friendly atmosphere. So today's a really great example of what we're all about which is growing through learning and learning through growing.